Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel. In today's card making video, I am making a ship in a bottle. I am super excited about this card. I knew I wanted to make it as soon as I saw this brand new stamp set, the Friendship stamp set. It's got this kind of old fashioned sailboat and I thought it'd be perfect for a ship in the bottle. And it just has so many different styles of boats in it that you can really play around with this and make a lot of different looking cards. And so it's got a lot of versatility plus a lot of sentiments. Okay, I am making my bottle using this bottle right here from the Pop Fizz die set. I also cut out a cork and the bottle is with vellum. So that's going to be my bottle, but I wanted to give it a little bit of dimension. So on the back side, I am adding some tumbled glass distress oxide ink and and I'm just checking it to see like how it looks. Is that subtle enough? And then I just went for it. So adding the color all around the edges and um, on the like the neck of it too, just because it kind of makes it look more rounded and um, you know, like blue sea glass kind of feel. All right, so now let's move on to the background. I'm gonna do a sandy area. So I'm using um, tea dye ink for that, also in distress oxide. And I'm gonna do about halfway up on this slumline panel that is eight and a fourth by three and a fourth because I wanna mount this on a slimline panel so it'll have an edge all the way around. I'm also going to do this little scrap because I want to have a like a little hill, little sand dune type piece for the bottle to sit in. I am going to splatter all the things. So I like to do my water first and get the that oxidization on the paper. And then I'll come in with some darker ink and add some more splatter. So I'm going to just try to concentrate this on the sandy part and not the top part. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. If it was, I would just like lay some paper out. I'm also going to just rub this stamp pad right onto the top of that cork to give it a little bit you know, depth of color on the edge. Now on the other side, I'm going to do salty ocean, of course, because that's the color of the ocean, right? And I'm just going to have it go right up to the edge of the sand. Um, not overlapping, I'm going to add like the, um, the foam of the ocean crashing onto the beach shortly. Um, I picked, I think, Mermaid Lagoon for my blue splatter on the ocean. Also, there, you know, I sprayed the paper when I did the sand, and so where I burnished the ink over that spray, it it made a really cool effect. Like it kind of made it concentrated and darker in those spots. Okay, so now let's add that kind of foamy part. I have this really scraggly brush, which I got at the dollar store. It came in like a three pack or five pack. Um, and I am picking up some white acrylic paint. You could use that distress picket fence paint right here. And you can see it kind of gives it that foamy look. Anyways, it's really cool. Next, I'm bringing in the layered peninsula stencil. This is brand new. The stencil is six by nine, so you can really do this on any size paper. But I wanna make some shining water. This is Nouveau Glacier Paste, and it's uh, white. So I thought this was gonna be more white or maybe even pick up a little bit of the blue, and it came out kind of silvery, but I really like the, um, dimension and like texture that it adds to the waters and it looks shiny so you know that's cool like it's really bright out and the lights hitting it all right time to put the things together so I'm adding the cork you can see I put glue on it and then I kind of spread the glue out with my finger and that is going to help it so the glue doesn't really like show a lot through the vellum and then I am adding the ship and doing the same thing just kind of spreading that glue out a little bit and then I'll just lay my bottle right on top of that to pick up the ship and make sure that it fits in there which it fits in there perfectly all right on the back I'm adding a glue dot and I'm going to wrap some twine around the neck of this bottle just to give it I needed something, you know, a little bit more visual interest. So um, this took a like a careful hand. I was really slow about it. So I sped up this part of the video, but I just went round and round and I tried to overlap it in some areas. And yeah, I really liked how it turned out. And I just stuck the back down with another glue dot and tried to keep it so the glue dot wouldn't necessarily show through the vellum. So there it is. 
pretty cool. All right, to glue this down to my card, I'm adding my liquid glue in strategic areas. Um, I am gonna like tap it out or spread it out with my finger like I did before, and that's gonna look really good on the sand part. Like, see there, it, it's kind of shows through, but you're not gonna tell because I put the little sand dune, which by the way, I just fussy cut that little hill with my scissors. All right, so time to add my sentiment. It says, Friendship is the best ship of all. I'm pretty sure I heard that on a movie recently. <laughs> all right, so this is going down onto my slimline card. Remember, eight and a half by three and a half card. And now it's time for some embellishments. These are brand new from the Trinity Stamp Shop, and they have that um, kind of holographic finish to them, and they are so shiny. I just love it. It kind of goes with a shiny part of the water. So I added those, and that finishes up my card. I love the ship in the bottle and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like sometimes you have an idea and you like never know, but this one turned out really good. So I hope that you are inspired here and enjoyed this video showcasing the new friendship stamp set from Trinity Stamps. You can find all the things I use linked for you in the description box below and I'll be back again next week with a new video right here on Trinity Stamps. Thanks for watching. Bye.